Welcome back everyone. This is the first time I'm going to do an exercise video, which is going to be me doing the exercise that I have um, given to you at the end of lesson two. And the reason I'm doing this uh, because um, I think I asked a few things which we haven't uh, practiced. So maybe it was uh, too difficult for some of them. So if you were able to do the exercise, that's fine. At least you don't have to watch this video for others. Or if you want to just go through the thing, uh, the whole process again, or you want to see how I'm doing it, you know, feel free to stay along. This time our code is supposed to be a lot more modular because instead of uh, copying the same formatting routines multiple times in order to achieve different styles, we are going to have one single sub to do all the formatting and we will control the different styles using arguments that we are going to use in the sub and of course we will pass those arguments through when we call the sub uh, on the button presses. So let's see how it's done. I started with again uh, a very simple example. I have this uh, category list uh, that I copied from the Northwind example. Um, I just like this because it's small so it doesn't take a load of uh, a space on the screen so uh, let's do alt f11 and and actually i think i'm going to start with creating uh, um, macros uh, right in the beginning and as i said i would like to have the the header formatting and the body formatting in separate separate subs so i just figured that i'm going to do it by creating two different macros so i'm going to use like the header let's say header format is going to be my first one so I select the header I apply formatting maybe I also change the font size and um, and I apply a color because I think we want to do color as well so that's going to be my color what else do we usually do oh okay and and let's say I do a border okay that's good we can stop the macro recording and then we start a new macro which is content format and we select the content and again we do the background color we do a table format sorry a border format and and I think that's pretty much it these are the two things that we usually do so I can stop the macro recording that's fine Maybe I'll just resize it manually. In this exercise, we also want to apply some colors to the uh, to the table, which I've already done. I, I, I picked this bluish color. And um, what we have seen previously is that when we define the color, um, Excel has these keywords for each of the colors. And obviously, I wouldn't know what these keywords are, what are the, uh, all the combination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create very simple macros where I use different colors. And I'm just going to look at those macros to see what these color IDs are. So it's basically, yeah, uh, that, that's how I'm going to cheat it. So let me do um, a few more macros. So I'm going to say color one. And I just simply apply. Okay, let's do this blue color. I mean, I've already done that, but that's fine. Okay, so stop recording, create another one color to and apply this maybe this this one okay and then color free and then let's do like a third let's do this greenish one okay and then stop recording okay so we should have everything that we need now we have the the header formatting the body formatting and a couple of colors uh, as an example so let's go into the editor alt f11 open up the module one and then hopefully we should see all the five um, subs created by the macro recording so header format let me just close the watch okay fine so i think we said a few things that uh, um, we want to move into arguments so the first one is definitely going to be the range and we are going to do it both for the header and the content, but let's just deal with the header first. So, um, how I'm going to call it, let me just call it header range. 
header range, and that's going to be a string. And let's say font size as, and I'm going to pass integer. I mean, this might actually be a long, but I'm going to pass low values. So um, integer is going to be fine. And the next one, I'm going to use again the weight, the line weight. And we have seen it as a store as long. And the last one is going to be the color. Okay, so we have a couple of color types here, but we don't know what data type this um, theme color is. So we see this theme color accent one. So let me uh, do a macro, re uh, sorry, a debugging. And what I'm going to do now is um, I haven't created any buttons, so I can't just push a button to go into the debugging. But what I can do is I can uh, click on this run and then so Visual Basic sees that I have a few um, a few macros that I can run. And so you can see that we have color one, two, three, and then content format. So the reason it is not showing header format because it's only showing me uh, the subs which don't have any arguments. So obviously if I'm running it from here, there's no way to um, specify arguments. So I can't use the header format um, sub for testing anymore, but I can use the content format and we been setting a line style in in here as well. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here. I'm going to say run that I want to run this uh, content format. And because um, I was in this sub and I pressed play, it is, well, just starting to execute this sub, sub uh, immediately. And I can actually select this uh, Selection that interior, edit to the watch, and then look at what are we interested in? Theme color. Theme color, and that's a long type as well. So, okay, we are good to go with a long one. Okay, and theme color as long. That should be all the argument declarations that I wanted to do. So, we just need to change the fixed values with the with the actual argument. So the range is going to go here. The font size is going to go here. That's the font size. The line weight, I want to control the the outside lines. So edge left, edge top, edge button, and edge right. And I'm going to leave the inside verticals as thin. And last, so that was the line weight, that was font size. Okay, the last one, the theme color. So the theme color is, uh, so instead of the fixed value, which is here the X, Excel theme color accent one, I'm just going to change it to theme color. I'm not going to modify all the other ones, so I'm just going to leave it whatever value they are um, at the recording. So that was all about the header format. I think we can do the same for the content format as well. So content, range as string okay we don't we are not going to do the uh, color of uh, the font size here so let's just do line weight align as long and um, theme color as long okay that should be enough so again content range goes in here, the line weight is going to go to the outer borders, okay, and then the theme color is goes into the theme color. It only took us a couple of minutes and we have uh, defined our arguments for the two subs and of course we have replaced the fixed values from the recording with, with these argument values and now I think it's time to create our main subs that the each of the buttons are going to execute so sub i'm just going to call them like style one and of course they don't have any arguments and all they need to do is they need to call the header format and the content format subs so header format and then okay we need a header range so the header range is a is a one to C1, 
right? Let me just move this. Okay. And let's not forget that this is a string, so we have to put it in double quotes. So the font size is going to be, let's say, that's going to be 10. And the line weight is going to be Excel, for example, Excel thin. And the color, and okay, now we are going to use a color. So I'm just going to move away, and I get this error message, which we always get if we have an incomplete line. Let me scroll down to one of the, the color one, and let me pick the the theme color from color one so that's how it's going to look like okay and then content format we also need a range which is going to be a2 to c9 there is no line weight there's no font size so line weight is thin and the theme color let's just use the same one as above okay i know it's incomplete so that should be it. Actually, I just realized that I also wanted to play around with the font as well, a little bit. And um, because here in the header one, I think I I did modify the the bold and the underline. Uh, okay, hmm. That's funny because previously we were playing around with italic, and um, this time I. I, I clicked on underline and I thought that's going to be also a true or false one but I just realized that you can have many different underline uh, styles one of them can be you know whether it's like a single underline or a double underline so it's not like a simple true false that's probably a long one as well but um, um, okay let, let's not use that let's just use the bold one so after font size I'm just going to do a font bold as boolean so I'm just going to add this one in like this. So I'm going to replace that. And now I have to go back to my header one because I've changed my argument. So I need to put a true in here. So as you can see again, it knows it's a Boolean. So it offers me only true or false. Uh, okay, so now my header format is looking good. So let me just copy it to style 2 and style 3 obviously the the ranges are going to be the same because um, well we are talking about the same table I mean uh, you can make this more so the style 3 doesn't I don't know for example modifies the last line but uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense so let's just play around with the font sizes so that's going to be 11 that's going to be 10, 12 the second one is going to be false for the boldness and then that's going to be medium i think it's called medium hopefully we'll see and um, for the colors let's say okay so the second color i picked was uh, theme color accent 2 i'm just going to replace that for style 2 and the third one is excel accent 6 and just paste it in here and I think oh actually if the header is medium then the content should be medium so let's let's try with this one of course all we need is uh, we need the three buttons to trigger the three different styles so button one is going to call style one and I'm just going to rename it to Style one. I need a second button. Which calls style two, and I rename it to style two, and then the last one. Oh crap! Did I didn't press the Alt in the beginning? Okay, so Alt. Style three, and then. style three okay hmm let's check first one okay small font bold um, normal borders next one slightly larger not bold different color and thick borders and style three 
the green color, even bigger font, bold again, and single or thin borders. So actually our code works. Um, I was lucky enough not to make any mistakes and it did work for the first time, but um, that's, that's pretty much how you do it. So again, we learned how to create, well, we haven't created these subs, we use the macro recording, but then how you modify the stuff by adding arguments, how you use those arguments in the in the code as well, or just basically replace the the fixed values, and then how to call with uh, how to call sub with arguments. It, it wasn't any more complicated than that. I think that should be all about exercise two. I hope you see all of you in lesson three. Thank you for staying with me till the end. If you think this content was good enough that you would pay for it, I have a good news for you. Click on the Patreon link above and follow the instructions. Otherwise, subscribe and like because, as you know, that really helps. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.